get me down again So we got this log on the sawmill. You see how crooked it is, or how high it is off the log deck. About 18, 19 inches across. Should be able to get a pretty good size bench out. That's what we're gonna do with it. We'll get some other stuff out of it too, but that's our main goal right now. This is the butt of the log where it, when I cut it off that stump over it, pulled out some of the guts here. So we'll see what that looks like when we saw it open. Hopefully it didn't hurt too much of it. Try to get us a four or five foot bench out. Down here on this end. I believe we can make it. Let's see what happens. Tell me if the blade's on good or not. I'm gonna stand way back here. need to rotate a little bit more.
little bit more. All right, so what I did was got the crook of the log going up this way. So what they call the horns of the log, it swoops up that way and that way. So I use this tow board and I'll raise this end of the log up. So what I'll be doing is putting the center of the log as level as I can with the saw deck. And that way, when I make a cut, the pith or the center of the log is as close to being in the center or being level as possible. But you know, I ain't gonna be doing much with this log where it's so crooked. But it'll help with what I wanna do. Cause I wanna cut a piece out of here as straight and as square as I can. And if I have the log turned where it's crooked one way or the other, the, the piece I want may not be the, as big as I could possibly get it out of here by cutting it any other way. So this way here will be the best for centering it up and getting a wide of a plank out of the middle like that as I can. That's not perfect, but that's about as close as we're gonna get on this log. So we'll get ready, clamp it down, and start sawing. So anybody that's curious or knows anything about these wood misers, the original clamp, which I still got, is a big metal rod that slips down in these holes and has a cam on it. You use this chain and pull it tight and it cams into this log and pinches it. Well, the LT15 wood misers has this little bar clamp. And for most of the cutting I do, I can reach from the operator side, pull this up into place and clamp it a lot easier than I can use this big old heavy one that you have to pick, pull out of these holes each time to move it over. So this, it just slides on this bar. All I did was bolt it to the log deck. It works just like it does on a LT15 just wedges in place tighten it up good to go a lot easier on most of the stuff not everything but I do have the option of either or now so you can see the dirt that gets wedged in the bark there'll be rocks and gravel you see there it's full of it you can see how much I've knocked out you can saw right through it, but you destroy a blade one pass, it's dull. So you wanna to try to clean all that out that you can. I'll use a wire brush a lot of times. Mine don't have a debarker on it or it would actually get rid of some of that for you. Yeah, look at that, big old piece of mud. That will dull it out in no time flat. We'll try to get the worst of it off. Now let's make us a cut. Look here what I missed walking around. Gravel. And that's about in line with where I want to make my first cut. So I measured here in the lowest part between the horns. I need to be about 19 inches to make one pass through there because I don't need any 
for these pieces here. So I'm gonna make one good straight cut. And I know it looks like a lot of waste on this end, but actually that piece won't be about two foot long. I don't need that for anything. So let's get to cutting. reason it's not running that great black smoking a little bit got a little bit of a miss swap these plugs out see if that makes a difference
cut the tree down, it ripped those big old splinters out of that stump. That's what it done to it. Would have been a good piece, but destroyed it. So hopefully I can get enough out of the log up here to do what I want to do. Let's get that. Now this is the other clamp I was talking about. Big, bulky, heavy, but it comes in handy for stuff like this. Not perfect, but we'll get her straight and cut it. Make the legs good and square. 